Major General Joe Harrington, Commander U.S. Army Africa, recently sat down with VOA's Carla Bob for an exclusive interview on U.S. operations and the situation on the continent. Thank you, General, for speaking with Voice of America today. Carla, it's good to be here. Thank you. One of the things that I've been told in this building is that the key point of U.S. Army Africa and AFRICOM is to work alongside the State Department to share the State Department's goals. Would you agree with that? And if the budget is cut at the State Department, how is that going to affect your exercises? Uh, well, when we work with the State Department, uh, I don't get to decide uh, the funding for the State Department or Defense, but I will say as we work with our African partners, as we work with our interagency partners, there's three Ds. It's development, diplomacy, and defense. How we apportion them and work with them is, you know, you need three legs of a stool. How many countries yeah. do your soldiers actually touch? In the AFRICOM region, you have about 50, you have 53 countries that are on the continent. Uh, Egypt falls into the CENTCOM area. I, on any given uh, year, we touch anywhere from 40 to 45 of them, either in engagements or actual soldiers on the ground. Wow, and so how many operations is that roughly per year? The, the, the question is really how many activities do we do there, and somewhere in the order of 300 or so for U.S. Army Africa, and another uh, nine or 10 exercises we do with our African partners. Let's talk about some of those exercises and operations across the continent uh, in Somalia. The uh, Army just put in a few dozen uh, from the 101st to train yeah. some of the Somali Army. How is that going? Actually, those are soldiers that fall under the first of the 101st, and they fall under United States Army Africa. And I was in Somalia last month visiting them during the course. They are training uh, Somalis how to drive to keep their logistics going, and it's going very well. So we're pretty happy with the progress that is going on that particular training mission. So by drivers, you mean? Truck drivers, and I happen to be a son of a truck driver. So visiting that course, I uh, had an interesting time talking to the Somalis that were taking it and the soldiers that were giving it. Do you see this continuing throughout your tenure oh, as the head absolutely. of U.S. Army Africa? Yes. Is that going to expand to other goals in the future? Well, we'll like I said, I'm sending people there and we'll do an assessment. So we're all working together to understand what the problem is and we're also working with our uh, mostly European partners on how we can help the Somali National Army be effective in securing its own population. For our audience that is wondering, why is he not talking about special operations and, and well, that's conducting easy, strikes? I'm not a special operations officer. <laughs> tell tell our audience, please, the difference between special operations in Africa and U.S. Army Africa. Yeah, job. that's a that's a really good question, Carl. I appreciate that. Uh, but U.S. Army Africa, what I try to look at is how do we how do we look at a long-term approach to Africa? How do we help the professional capacity and capability of armies deal with their own problems and the special ops, they're dealing in their special niche that they're very good at. What I'm looking at is the general purpose army. How can we help them improve their security? How can we help them improve their professionalism? Does Do the population run towards an army or run away from an army? And, and there's some bad history going back years uh, in Africa that they, they were afraid of their own soldiers. Well, working with them on a regular basis and watching the, uh, the evolution since a lot of those things happened uh, years ago, it's very encouraging to see where those armies have come to. Major General Joe Harrington, thank you so much for speaking with VOA today. Thank you very much, Carla.